Libra, hey y'all, how y'all doing? You have reached your southern intuition. And this is going to be a read for the sign of Libra for the zodiac year of 2020. It may not resonate with everyone, but I believe everything connects eventually. So if it's your message to hear, you'll do so. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to do a beach read to the best that we can. And I want you to just enjoy the waves of the ocean as I shuffle your cards. Oops. Put you right down into the sand there. Libra. Libra, overall, I feel like you are getting the well unrest that you have needed. You've really kind of been grounding yourself, getting that courage that you needed, seeing through the truth, getting over betrayal and heartbreak and knowing that there is hope, knowing that you do have all the tools you need to push past this, having that courage and yourself it's a little bit difficult here to pull the car just because the the wind is 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 roaring but so in the past you get the king of pentacles the seven of pentacles and the three of swords and i feel like you've definitely just kind of been soothing yourself focusing on your own financial abundance gaining those you know those efforts through your hard work and what's been beneficial to you what's not been beneficial to you and just kind of using just dwell, getting into your work and allowing your work to help you with this heartache and I think right now you're just kind of getting help from friends and others maybe you're going out you, know, you, you gotta have a lot of courage to get over this, but you're, you're gonna have this success against this opposition and this heartache. You, you definitely, in the future here with the magician, you've got the tools to manifest this in the moon, to see through it. It might take you a little bit, you know, you might have to juggle time and finances. You might even have to go through a few people, but overall, you know, don't give up. Take a break, step back, focus on what's good for you. And, and I think you're gonna be fine. I think you're gonna have all the tools that you need. You're finally gonna see through these illusions. Maybe you'll finally see what, uh, what was needed financially. Maybe you're finally gonna see what you needed to let go of so you can move forward with your life. Having that discernment, knowing that all is not what it seems and staying true to your knowing and keeping your dreams a secret. And then of course, sanctuary, taking time out of the world and spending more time alone. Meditate, retreat, Having better friendships, seeking out friends and people that are, uh, that are better for you. People that don't hurt you. People that have your well-being, you know, and thoughts. And instead of, you know, people that, that don't really serve you.
I think overall your finances and your money is, is your focus. And, you know, you may not realize it, but, you know, in, in time, what was uh, in the dark will be brought into the light. As long as you just carry that hope, have that discernment, you'll be able to manifest everything that you need in your life. Ten of Pentacles energy here. High Priestess. Knowing the secrets. I mean, you, you know what it is that you need. You know what's good for you. You know what's going to benefit you and what's not. So stay focused on that. Drop the ball on these other things. Work hard. And get your rest. And good luck with that.